Hello everybody, this is DJ Squeaker, and today I am continuing my top 10 favorite Pokemon from each generation. We are at the second generation, also the Johto region of the Pokemon series. And I'm doing literally the Pokemon that were added in in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Not any Pokemon that were in Heart Gold or Soul Silver that were added into that one, but the ones that were added in the original Gold, Silver, and then Crystal. That includes the Legendary Dogs as well as Ho-Oh and Lugia were also on the list of Pokemon that I went through to decide my top 10 favorite Pokemon. I hope you enjoy the video today. Number 10! Alrighty, my number 10 favorite Pokemon from the second generation is going to be, and yes, it's pretty commonly liked Pokemon, Tyranitar. Alright? I get he's overused, I get everyone likes him, except for, you know, some of those hipster people, but... He's a good Pokemon. He's got just that defense. He's a tank. He's so awesome. I mean, he, he was such a good Pokemon, and he still is to this day. With his Mega Evolution, he's even better. I mean, you can't just—it's—it's it's a good Pokemon. You can't really like diss me for not like for for liking him. I mean, he he made the top ten. I mean, he made he's number ten. So it's not like you know I use him a lot, but I do indeed enjoy him. He's a good Pokemon to have, and great staller and a great tank. Number 9! My number 9 favorite Pokemon from the second generation is going to be Scizor. Yes, Scyther was on my top 10 for the first generation. So, of course, Scizor is going to be here too because he is such a good Pokemon. Such a great evolution for a great Pokemon. And you had to do a special way to get him. You couldn't just go find Scyther and evolve him into a Scizor. You had to trade it with a metal coat to your friend, which kind of made the game more fun because, you know, you had to get your friends involved with this. It was, he was a good Pokemon too. He was a sweeper. He speed, attack, and he had some more defense because he was a steel type. And he can learn all those awesome moves that he, he couldn't learn as I mean, he was a great evolution, and Pokemon really did something right whenever they made him. Number 8. My number 8 favorite Pokemon from this generation is going to be Fanpy, because it is just one of the cutest Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. I absolutely loved Fanpy. I didn't really like Dom Fan because he looked kind of stupid, but Fanpy was just so cool. He made, it was such a cute little Pokemon. And in the Pokedex entry, it says... At least in Fire Red and Leaf Green, it says that it will try to show affection by nudging you with its nose, but it might end up sending you flying because of how much strength it stores. A single fan fee charging can destroy an entire skyscraper. It, it, it's it's just it's so cool. It's just this power it's this power pack little compact little elephant. And it's adorable. It's one of the cutest Pokemon ever, and I love it. I just, it's just, it's so cute. And I know most people don't like Fanpy, but I love Fanpy, so that's all I have to say about the cutest little elephant that could. Number 7! My number 7 favorite Pokemon from this generation is Lantern, an incredibly underused Pokemon. And I liked it because, first off, it was fucking adorable. Second off, it was a water electric, which you don't see! I mean, it was an electric type that could, or a water type that could literally jack up other water types, and it didn't have to worry about ground, really, because it was a water type. You could screw up other ground types. It was great! It was a good Pokémon to have! I thoroughly enjoyed my lantern. I, well, I had one, and I used it as my surf... it was my surf horror, is what it was. But I also used it to to dominate other water type Pokemon. It was a good Pokemon, and I don't care what anybody says, I love my Lantern. I loved it even in the third generation games when I played those as well. Number six. My number six favorite Pokemon for this generation is going to be Ariados. Why? It's a fucking giant spider. That is awesome. Okay, when I was a kid, I saw that area of those. It was so cool. Alright? It was a ninja spider, too. It was awesome. I loved area does in the show. Didn't really use it too much in the game because bug types are pretty unused. But I, in, in, just in the show, he was amazing to me. He's a giant spider and he's that terror effect from it. It was just, it was such a. I liked it. I mean, I didn't really use him. The stats aren't super good. It's a decent move pool, but. That's why I liked him. That's why he made number six. Because of the show. I loved Ariados in the show. Number five. My number five favorite Pokemon from this generation is going to be Trigorita, the Grass Stalker. Because it was so fucking cute. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Chikorita was adorable in the game and in the show. Okay, when Ash caught one, I was absolutely in love. It was... A great, it evolved into Meganium, and Meganium was a good Pokemon. I'm not going to say great, because it's not great. It was good, if you didn't want to battle other people. I mean, you could teach some pretty yeah, decent move pool. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed my Meganium. I just didn't use it a lot in PvP. But, uh, yeah, Chikorita. Number five. Just, you can't really... It, it, I'm sorry. Everybody else loves Cyndaquil and Totodile. For me, it was Chikorita. Number four! My number four favorite Pokemon from this generation is going to be Celebi. I know he's not that good. He really isn't. But I loved my Celebi. I don't know why I used the hell out of him. He was always in my team. And uh, in the movie Pokemon Forever, it was he was so cute. That voice was amazing. He was a great. I don't know. I fell in love with Celebi, and I still love my Celebi in this game, even though he's pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Number three, my favorite Pokemon for the second generation is Mistrevis. I love my Ghost type Pokemon, and Mistrevis is one of my favorite Ghost type Pokemon, especially now since they're all Miss Magnus. But I didn't back then. But still, I love Mistrevis. I don't care what anybody says, I still love Mistrevis. I, I love it. I don't really think I should justify myself. It's a ghost Pokemon. People love their psychics, their darks, and their ghosts. I just happen to enjoy ghosts more than every other type. Number two! My number two favorite Pokemon from the second generation is going to be Umbreon. Yes, one of the most overused Pokemon. Umbreon. I fucking love Umbreon, alright? It is just my, just, it's such a tank, and all I teach everyone, my, my Umbreon knows that I have. It knows Sand Attack, Double Team, Aerial Ace, and Moonlight. It's a dick move, if you think about it, because you can't hit me. If you do hit me, I can heal. I only do double battles, and I always have another Pokemon with my Umbreon that has Shadow Tag or Arena Trap. So you can't get away from me. There's no point. You're not going to get away. I also have a PB Max on my Aerial Ace, therefore I can go for days. My Umbreon is just an amazing Pokemon. And finally, number one! My number one favorite Pokemon from the second generation is going to be Houndoom. Come on. It's a demon dog that freaking breathes fire and shit. Houndoom is badass. I am sorry. He's, a, he's, a, he's awesome. Okay? He, he, he's one well, Mega Houndoom, the newest thing. Solar power is just so overpowered to get somebody with a solar beam. I'm sorry. That Houndoom is just. He's so amazing. I, I love Houndoom. He's, he's so cool. When he first came out, I saw that epic demon dog, and I was like, yes, I want this Pokemon. He's on my team. Well, anyway, everyone, that was my top 10 trip Pokemon from the Johto region. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, and if you haven't already, a subscribe. I shall be doing the rest of the generations, except for the newest one, because I have yet to play X and Y, because I'm a little short on funds at the moment.